I wish I had learned this truth many years ago. Be thankful for the days, good and bad. Funny how wisdom and youth are always two different games. The years flew by so fast is a common human complaint. Memories in our minds turn to diamonds in our soul. And by the grace of God, on down the road we go. It's not the getting there, it's the journey every day. It's not a race to see how many people know your name. One day you'll realize time was worth more than the gold. It's not the getting there. When you get there, you will know. All right, welcome to another episode of Warrior vs. Zombie. And for those of you who've been with us before, or those that are just joining us for the first time, let me first tell you what Warrior vs. Zombie is all about, and then we'll get into today's program or today's podcast First of all, success is a journey. It's not a destination. As warriors, we all have a history of ups and downs, wins and losses that are all part of making us who we are up to this point and provide a foundation for our path forward. We all have a battle with our inner zombie as well as those zombies in our world. And we're going to talk about that today. In each episode, I interview warriors who are aspiring leaders from all walks of life, entrepreneurs, artists, health practitioners, business owners, literally any inspired leader that has a story to tell. These warriors have a cause, they have unique value and a vision that goes generations into the future. And today, uh, I'm going to be talking to you again in episode 56, and we're going to have kind of a follow-up on episode 54. So if you didn't hear that episode, I'd encourage you to go back And as always, uh, go back to any of the previous episodes to hear stories that are inspiring from every warrior uh, that you can think of. Uh, Today, uh, I'm actually re-recording an attempt to do a podcast that we did last week, and uh, which would have been the last episode of 2021, and uh, was intending to record the first episode of 2022. Uh, today, which is Monday, and uh, for various reasons, some of which I still don't understand, uh, we were unable to connect with the warrior that we'll be sharing with you hopefully at some point. So I'm going to talk about the warrior versus the zombie and expand upon some of the discussion we had in episode 54. So that's the check-in for today. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've had 45 years of business transformation. My journey is uh, started at the beginning of my life, I, I would say, and most warriors do, even though we don't realize it. Uh, I spent 30 years as a corporate vice president, a partner, ultimately at a company called Accenture, and decided 16 years ago to retire from that corporate life. Uh, Now I'm an author, a speaker, a podcaster, and I love, love, love coaching entrepreneurs. I have over 15 years since my retirement, now 16 years, to pursue my vision of impact. And that's really simply what I did was I shifted from making money and then taking that money and making an impact to making an impact and let the money follow the impact. And so that's what I've done. My vision is to change the world one dream at a time, and I'm in the process of doing that. If you wanna understand more, join my group and you'll see how that works out. I have a passion really of basically supporting inspired leaders. And I love building community and works and I'm doing so, regularly on a daily basis. 
I lead a number of networking groups, RP networkers, business network, men's breakfast network, and I'm a Be Connected qualified founding ambassador. And if you don't know what I mean, you're welcome to join those communities. And I'll share with you at the end of this podcast how to follow up with me in any of those communities. So let's talk about the warrior journey and really talk about what it is that uh, we're getting into. So I want to talk about your vision for 2022 today. And as we talked about in episode 54 is whether you choose to survive or thrive. And I'm hoping that your vision for 2022 is to thrive. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break, hear a little bit of our theme song from Ricky Jean Wright, which is called It's Not the Getting There. And then we'll be back and we'll talk about recognizing and the whole concept of zombie and how that applies to the various aspects of our life. But the miles become the teacher While the student learns real slow Traveling blind most of the time Wherever you go It's not the getting there It's the journey every day It's not a race to see All right, we're back. And as I said before the break, is we wanted to talk about uh, the zombie traits, the zombie things that we talked about in episode 54, but I want to drill down a little bit. Uh, Also, I'll give you a little uh, heads up. I'll be doing a summit on the 14th and 15th of January with a lot of other uh, warriors, speakers, uh, influencers. And so I'll, I'll uh, if you follow me in the Vision Challenge Engagement Group or the group that I'm going to uh, be connected group or any place in this platform or other platforms, uh, you'll have links there to sign up or register for that event, uh, that summit, which will be free. So it'll be the first one of 2022. So let's talk about this. As we look at 2022, I created what was called a vision challenge and did that roughly six years ago. And today it's the 2022 vision challenge. And I want to invite you to participate in that. And again, you can get access to that in my private group. And again, I'll give you the registration for that as we go. As we talked about in episode 54, there are three steps to implementing the vision challenge. One is, and the first one, and most important, and I think most necessary in today's environment, is waking up. Number two is then establishing your unique vision. And then three is beginning the transformation process, which is a journey every day, as the podcast theme song says. So as I looked at my life, and one of the reasons why I started on this journey was I realized that I was going through the motions and was going to end up with regret. The quote that I have here from Robert Millette is, it is not the impossibilities which fill us with the deepest despair, but the possibilities which we have failed to realize. That's one of the things that many, many people get to the end of the road um, and have, if you have time to contemplate the end when you get there, as the song says, they realize that it's not the things that they did, even if things that they did maybe didn't work out, but it's the things that they never tried, the possibilities they never pursued the history that they allowed to become their destiny and their excuses. And today I'm going to talk about excuses. And uh, the trigger for this, obviously, is the world we live in today. And we are in, as I've said, the zombie apocalypse. And I predict that many, many people, if they don't wake up, are going to get to the end of the road 
and have many, many regrets, deepest despair, um, concerns, things that they wish they would have tried. One of the things that I had the experience as I was talking to my brother this week, and he is in the process of moving his wife and him after retirement to out of the country to Mexico to doing some things. And somebody said, well, what if it doesn't work out? What if you have these challenges? Obviously, the people who care about you a lot of times maybe have looked at your history, looked at things that you've gone through, and they said, yeah, you know, you didn't do that before, or I know somebody who failed at that or that. The really the most scary thing to me is not what might happen if I made that move, followed that dream, but what wouldn't happen or the fact that I got to the end of the road and never tried, never had the opportunity to at least experience a learning or the success of moving forward. And I say it in that way because it's not failure. A lot of people say, well, I, you might fail. Well, no, you're going to either learn what didn't work or you're going to succeed. And those always the case. And I talk to people about that on a regular basis, including the people that I talk to is myself. And that's one of the most important things. So are you going to let and focus on your possibilities and move forward with those? Even if you don't succeed? Are you going to let your history become your destiny? Or are you going to have your excuses at the end of the day to justify why you didn't achieve the possibility that you have in your heart today? So here's the zombie test. And I'm going to go through the areas of our life real quickly. And but I want to but I want to say this and then we'll take another break is you can have results or excuses not both now let me say that again you can have results or excuses not both i'm not the first person to say that i know that's a mantra in people who go to the gym athletes uh, you've heard it over and over and over again. If there's somebody that should that attrib that quote should be attributed to, I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Uh, however, it's something that I have come to realize. I often say entrepreneurs are really entrepreneurs because they experience challenges every day on their journey, but they continue to move forward towards their goal. If you let your challenges stop you, you're really not an entrepreneur. You're a wantrepreneur. You want it, but you're not willing to overcome the challenges. And we all have challenges. So the question really is, what is driving? If you're doing a, a high levels, let's do a high level zombie test, and then we'll take a break, and then we'll come back and go through each of the areas. But if you're doing a high level zombie test, when you're thinking about whatever it is you're going to move forward, whether you're going to be a guest on a podcast, whether you're going to write a book, whether you're going to start a business, whether you're going to leap into a relationship, move your family out of the country, whatever it might be, are you looking for the reason and you're focused on the reason that you want to do that? The reason, hopefully, you're here on the planet a way to further your life purpose, your goal, to serve those around you? Are you looking at your values? Are you focused on, okay, this is more important to me. It's okay to say no. It's okay not to move forward or to move around or move through a particular challenge, but you do it in a way that prioritizes your value system. When you hear somebody say, or you say to yourself, I don't have the time, or I don't have the money, or I don't have the connections, you're actually exhibiting a zombie symptom. The key is that your reason and your 
values are on full display in that moment because you've now accepted or embraced the excuse and said the excuse that I'm going to use is using that excuse as a higher value than X, Y, Z. So when you say, I don't have enough money, you're really saying that thing or that investment or that expenditure or whatever is of a lower value in my budget or in my decision-making than everything else, okay? If you say, I don't have the time, then you're really saying that or you or that thing isn't worth the time. I don't have the connections. Again, I'm not willing to reach out. I don't want to do what it takes to do that. Does that make sense? So that's really where I think it's important for us as warriors to realize that when we are embracing our excuses, and Lord knows over the last two years uh, in my life and everybody's life, there's plenty of opportunities for excuses. And we're going to talk about that when we get into the breakdown here and how it manifests itself in our behavior today in 2022 and how it has manifested over the last year. And we're seeing this in spades. So let's do this. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back. And we're going to go back through that list of the 10 areas to evaluate and really apply them to today's world in the midst of the zombie apocalypse and talk about how we exhibit or we see people exhibiting those traits. And again, the solution we'll talk about at the end, but one of the things is it's a journey every day. So with that, let's take another quick break. We'll be back with Ricky Jean Wright. And we'll hear a little more of it's not the getting there. And then we'll talk about breaking down this whole zombie test. It's not a race to see how many people know your name. One day you realize time was worth more than the gold. It's not the getting there When you get there, you'll know Funny how wisdom and youth Are always... All right, we are back. And I'm not going to go into the same thing we went into in episode 54, but I'm going to talk about the same categories that we explored in terms of talking about what you might exhibit and what you might see in a zombie in each of these 10 areas. So first of all, lifestyle practices. Now, when you look at lifestyle practices, I see it every day. Now, I'm, this is not political. This is not intended to um, disrespect any particular decision that anybody makes. The most important thing to consider as I talk about each of these things for yourself is not what I think about it or even what somebody else thinks about it, but how do you think about it? What are you focused on and how do you feel? Because if you're feeling, then what you're focused on is generally the reason for that feeling. Okay, so first of all, lifestyle practices. And today, those are on full display. People are making specific decisions to do things in their lifestyle, whether it's uh, wearing a mask, not wearing a mask, getting uh, certain medical procedures, vaccines, therapeutics, uh, tests, you name it, those are all out there. And people are living out loud, things that many times people uh, have taken on themselves, reviewed, looked at, made decisions. A lot of people are looking at those lifestyle practices. And when you see people doing things in their lifestyle, eating unhealthy things, um, which we'll talk about in a minute, or doing things that don't align with their stated goals or objectives, then you only have to ask, or they don't make sense, 
then you ask yourself in their lifestyle or ask yourself if it's you, am I really following my warrior instincts or am I following my zombie? How do you communicate? Another thing, when you are to people, a lot of people say, uh, are you talking about other people? Or are you talking about ideas and concepts and th things in a future and vision? Again, if you're talking about people, if you're complaining um, and not able to express why you believe what you believe, why you think what you think, or you're hearing that coming from others in your presence, then you can be sure that you're in the midst of a zombie infection, your conversations, are you constantly complaining? There's a lot of things, a lot of reasons, and they're not really reasons, they're excuses to complain and that you're embracing or people are embracing. But the point is, there's always going to be turmoil. We're always going to be in the midst of things and challenges, and we're always going to have a virus that we have to avoid, or you really can't avoid a virus we're going to live with. Um, there's always things we're going to have. So what is your excuse? And people are finding these excuses very convenient. And there are people that want to manipulate you, the zombie in you, to take those excuses and hang on to those as opposed to moving forward with your own intent. Where do you hang out? Are you looking for where everybody else is going? Or are you evaluating where you are and where you want to go? And going there in spite of whether there's a crowd there or not. Now, I say in spite of because there may be a crowd there or there may not be a crowd there. The point is you're not using an excuse of the size of the crowd, the size of the, the zombie horde or whatever to, to justify, well, I'm going there because everybody else is going there. The other thing is you need to take time to focus. If you're listening to the news, if you're listening to all this noise, if you're listening to the right or the left or the up or the down, if you're going through all that process, um, it's very hard to focus. And what do you should be focused on? You should be focused on your intent, your vision for your life, and the things you want to accomplish. And if you're not, then again, the zombies in play and you're really embracing the excuse. The consumer lifestyle, this is one that I see in full display. People just came out of Christmas. Did you spend more money? Are you looking back and saying, I wish I had a, uh, had more to spend or I wish I'd, you know, were you investing in the right things? Did you make all the right decisions? Did you eat all the right stuff? That consumer lifestyle um, is, a strong indicator of whether you are falling susceptible to the marketing and the those that are controlling your int intent rather than you moving forward with your own intent. That regret is an indication to you that, that the zombie mindset is strong and you need to really look at how do you remedy that. Eating habits, again, is there. Um, I mentioned that you see that over the holidays and then how much did you focus on outside of yourself, whether it was your church charities, a lot of times people at the end of the year, um, and, and nonprofits really need this is for us to, to say, how do we do it? There's tax incentives, but that's not the most important thing, but there are needs there. And are you focused on that community, your impact in the community. And then the question I would ask you there is, is that an annual thing or is that something you do on a daily basis? Because really it should be a journey every day when it comes to all these things and moving forward in your intent. The other thing is when you look at what you're doing, how sustainable is that? Well, some people have woke up to the fact that just taking a vaccine and going back to living your life and not being um, aware that you're in the midst of constant viral bacterial, that's part of our world. It's got to be part of our world. It's part of you, who you are, your, your bio system. 
is viruses and stuff. Are you, they realize that this, what they're doing is not sustainable. They need to evaluate their lifestyle practices, how they feed their bodies, how they exercise health. Hopefully you're not just thinking it's a one shot deal. You're not looking for a silver bullet or a, or a magic pill. And then the finally is what are you focused? Are you focused on your journey and your vision or are you and how that's going to affect not only you, but your children and their children and generations to come? Or are you just filling your needs? So that's really the, the 10 areas uh, when we look at the zombie apocalypse and, and evaluating our behavior. So let me do this. Let me take another quick break. And then we're going to be back with the land the plane segment. And I just want to invite you in that segment to really um, consider these things, join my community and move forward. So with that, take another quick break and we'll be back with a final segment of Warrior vs. Zombie. Funny how wisdom and youth are always two different games. The years flew by so fast is the common human complaint. The memories in our minds turn to diamonds in our soul. And by the grace of God, on down the road. All right. And as the theme song said, if you were listening to this audio, it's not the getting there. It's a journey every day. And it's not a race to see how many people know your name. And time is your most valuable asset. Time is worth more than gold. It's worth everything that you have. And in fact, when you look at money, the thing you're really trying, if you're really investing and, and, and working for, uh, to get more money as well is all in the idea of separating your impact from your time. So as I said before, the most important thing I want you to take away from this today as we move into 2022 is what I said earlier, and that is you can have your excuses or you can have the success that you want, but you really can't have both. We all have plenty of excuses, but you've got to let those go. Those are things that are just on the way and they should never be in the way. So instead of saying, I don't have time, I don't have money, I don't have all these things, you should say, how can I get the time? How can I do things to give me more time? How can I do things to get me the money that I need to, to accomplish that dream, that vision, and so on? So that's the most important thing I want. I, I really want you to know as an audience, I appreciate each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you. And I really am here and will be here every week with our warrior versus zombie group and every week on this podcast to help you in any way I can. So with that, I would ask, invite you to go to the BK and then slash warrior and join my group. Or you can just, if you're already part of the be connected community, reach out to me, use the connection generator, connect with me, love to have you as part of the community. And if you are a warrior and you want to express and tell your story and talk about your vision for your future and the impact you hope to have and share that with uh, a good audience of warriors, then I invite you to reach out to me and I'd love to have you on warrior versus zombie so with that we'll hear the final segment of it's not the getting there with ricky jean wright and i'll see you back next thursday or this coming thursday at 11 a.m central for another episode of warrior versus zombie it's not the getting there 
It's the journey every day. It's not a race to see how many people know your name. One day you realize time was worth more than the gold. It's not the getting there. When you get there, you'll know. One day you realize time was worth more than the gold. It's not the getting there. When you get there, you'll know.